So there's a lot of transfer news coming out today surrounding Manchester United and you might be wondering why is so much transfer news coming out surrounding Manchester United? Well first of all we've missed out on Kim Min Jae so we've there's transfer news about our centre backs we're looking at now. Second of all, obviously we're in for Mason Mount but we want two midfielders so we've got the Declan Rice stories coming out, we've got the Eze stories coming out. Third of all, United want to trade in Ahmad Diallo and give Atalanta some money for Ramos Hoyland coming out today. But why there's so much transfer news coming out is realistically we've lost Kane, we've lost Kim Min Jae, we ain't getting Caicedo. There's, there's now a feeling that Lavi is going to go to Arsenal. Most of Ten Hag's targets are being swooped up, so United have got to find new targets. So now we're getting linked to new players. But another reason behind a lot of these links is because I think, you know, it's the, it's the classic United. Everyone around us is doing business. United fans getting frustrated. So let's put out that we're looking at this player, this player and this player. Because a big report has come out today basically saying that Arsenal are actually not as close as people think of the Declan Rice race and United could swoop in and United could be the favourites because they can give them Maguire and the money and get rid of some of the players who don't want to give them to West Ham, for Rice, etc. But at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest, a lot of this news is monitoring, watching, targeting, scouting. We've got under review today. Um, we've got all of it. Monitoring FC, watching FC, targeting FC, considering FC. Uh, contacting FC, observing FC, not putting in a bid and buying FC though, that's what we want to see, that is the team I want to see. But I'm going to start with the defensive transfer news because Fabrizio Romano has given an update on who United look to be signing, we've got two options because we've basically lost out on Kim Min Jae and I will get into that. Then I want to get into the news on Eze, Mason Mount, Tenog 100% wants Mason Mount, Mason Mount 100% like it to happen kind of reports, but the really interesting story is on Declan Rice today, I'm going to get into my thoughts on why I think that story has come out and who it's come through and who said that story and why it's interesting and then we'll get into the Ramos Hoyland news so we'll start with the defence we'll get into midfield we'll get into the attack we're going to just do a big transfer roundup from defence to attack I mean there's some news on Pickford to United a lot of people are asking me on that and that's come from the star and the mirror um so anything from the Daily Star is probably worth ignoring so I am ignoring that one because I don't want it to happen and two because it's worth ignoring and I always did a rant video today about how long I take over is going on but I thought you know what let's just get into the news I can't be asked around anymore and people say you're so negative about United I'm negative because we've got owners that are draining every ounce out of this club and, and Ten Hag deserves the backing in the window that's why I'm negative so smash like smash to subscribe what was said so basically United are probably not going to get Kim and Jay Romano said this Man United expect the situation with Kim Min Jae to be very difficult because he's in advanced talks with Bayern Munich. United will continue discussions with Monaco um, and his and the entourage for Alex de Sassi. Um, Alex Axel de Sassi. There remains an option in defence. Um, so we're looking at Monaco player Axel de Sassi. I'll be honest, massive drop off from Kim Min Jae. I'm not an expert on French league, so like, I don't watch them a lot, but I do watch a bit of the French league here on there. And Axel de Sassi. It's just not someone that's ever really caught my eye. I've watched him a little bit because we were linked to him. And I just think he's, he's, he's not, I don't think he's good enough for United, to be honest. I like Julian Timber. I like the other guy we've been linked to, um, John Clare um, Todibo. I think he's a lot better. I think the Nice centre-back we've been linked to in the French League is a lot better than the Monaco one. We've gone from Kim Min Jae to a Monaco centre-back that I think is all right, but I don't rate him. He's not, he's a massive drop-off from Kim Min Jae. I think loads, everyone wants to drop-off from Kim Min Jae. Kim Min Jae is an unreal centre-back. But if you Julian Simba and um, Tolibo, they moved me a bit. Two centers have moved me a bit that we've been linked to. I'm not, I just don't know about Axel de Sassi. I've not watched him enough to have a proper judgment of him, but I'm not sure. Romano did add to that. Man United have sent their scouts to follow John Clare uh, Tolibo multiple times. So, you know, this for me would be better. I, I just, I'm not sure about Axel de Sassi. Um, just going from Kim and Jay to de Sassi, I think we need a director of football. I think that's a massive drop off there, but I might be wrong. Look, I've watched about three games that he's played and I, and I could be completely wrong. But um, I think if we are going to move for a French League centre back, I do prefer the name of the second one, who we're not being linked to as much, but the Nice centre back, Tolibo. And I'll tell you what, if we get Sergio Ratcliffe, there's probably more of a chance of that, but I don't want Sergio Ratcliffe. Anyway, continuing on with the midfield transfer front, what was said on that. So we've got a new one today. We've got under review. We've got today, and it came it came out from Steve Bates, good journalist, actually. It is understood that United have had Crystal Palace star Eze under review since Christmas with Ten Hag wanting to add more goals to his midfield. So another player United are looking at, watching, considering, under review, but not doing anything for. We like Casado, we like Lavia, we won't do anything for them. We like Rice, apparently we won't do anything for Rice. Ten Hag's told the board to make a move for Rice, they won't. Apparently Ten Hag's getting annoyed at the board because he's told them to make a move for Rice, Caicedo 
and Lavia and the ball won't. This is probably another player that Ten Hag likes in midfield, but the ball may, won't make a move for. The ball will only make a move for Mason Mount because he's British. Oh, Mason Mount, bit of me. And I think he is Ten Hag's number one midfield priority. But, you know, I think there's a lot of players that Ten Hag wants the ball to go and make a move for, but they're not. They're stalling. It's because the Glazers are still here. The Glazers are still in charge. They don't know if they're going to be here the whole transfer window because they'll happily delay this takeover through the transfer window. That's what the Glazers will do. Remember that. So, you know, that is, that is the big problem. So I like Eze. I'd love for United to sign Eze. I think he's a fantastic midfielder. I think he's really exciting and I think he could be a top player. But we're watching him. We're looking at him. He's under review. And I'm fed up of this, under review watching. And you know what? I actually think the Napoli media made up that United were going in for Kim Min Jae. I don't think Kim Min Jae rejected United for Bayern. I think United stood there and wouldn't make a move for Kim Min Jae. Ten Hag wanted them to make a move for Kim Min Jae. Oh, but we don't know because of the takeover. Ten Hag wanted to make a move with Kane. Oh, we don't know he's too much. If you want a goalkeeper, you won't get to Kane. Ten Hag's been forcing them to make a move with Ramos Hoyland. Oh, no, he's too expensive. Ten Hag's been forcing them to make a move for Mason Mount. You know, I think Ten Hag wants United to make moves and do stuff, and I don't think United are doing it, and I don't think we'll make a move for Eze. Who I do think we'll make a move for is Mason Mount, because it was said this on Mason Mount. Talks and negotiations ongoing for Mason Mount and a move to Manchester United is the most likely scenario at this stage. Eric Ten Hag wants him 100%. 100% confirmed Ten Hag wants Mason Mount. But if we get Mason Mount, we've got a better chance of signing Declan Rice. Do I think we'll sign Mount and Rice? No, because we don't have the budget for that. We're reportedly broke is what's kind of being made out, and we won't buy till we sell. But what was said on Declan Rice was really interesting news. It was said new. Arsenal are now looking to be a, be struggling to go on the pace in the race for Declan Rice as other fre others threaten to move in. Among others, Man United are likely to move for Rice. It said West Ham will look to get close to 120 million in cash or cash plus players. And this was said by Claret and Hugh. Now, I don't know who Claret and Hugh are. I've tried to look them up. I don't know who Claret and Hugh are. Um, so I don't trust the source. But reportedly, they know people that I work with the director of footballs of West Ham, etc, etc, etc. Let's say that's the case. I believe that West Ham will put out a story that United are close to Declan Rice. I believe West Ham will put out a story that Man City are close to Declan Rice. Because West Ham want Arsenal to hurry up and put the bid in they want. That's what I think it is. I want Declan Rice. Ten Hag wants Declan Rice. It was said by Tier 1 reports today that Ten Hag wants the board to make a move for Declan Rice. But they're refusing. The board are, aren't going to make that move for Declan Rice because of, of his price tag. So... You know, I, I just think that Declan Rice will go Arsenal and United's name's being used to hurry up a move. I think that Ten Hag would like him, but I don't think we've got the budget for that. I think it's Mason Mount, Hoyden and a goalkeeper and we'll call that a summer and we'll probably sell five people and we'll be having probably a very underwhelming summer. Continuing on, it was said by reluctant Nico that Man United could offer players to West Ham for Declan Rice while they're in financial limbo. It seemed very obvious that United in a weird financial situation and Maguire and wan were reportedly options that United could potentially use to lower the price of Declan Rice. United seem to not really want to be signing anyone and they keep throwing players at other clubs desperate to get rid of players and a player that I don't want United to get rid of even though it's on loan is Amad Diallo. I think he could be really important to United next season but Hoyland was 40 million euros they've now doubled the price to 80 million euros because you know Man United tax and this what was this was what this is what was said today on Hoyland to United and I really don't like the story. It was said new Ten Hag is willing to sanction a year-long loan move for winger Amad Diallo to return to Atalanta in a move to help seal a deal for Rasmus Hoyland. So United willing to use um, Amad Diallo to try and lower the price of Rasmus Hoyland using Amad Diallo on loan. I'd like, if we're signing Rasmus Hoyland, who's not an advanced ready striker and he's our only striker signing, I'd still like Amad Diallo to be in the attack line because I think we're going to be thinning the attack line. So to, to ship out Amad Diallo, who probably, if we're going to give him a loan, a Premier League loan would be most suitable to get a move for Hoyland in. I just think it's bad business from United. I think that's bad business. So some people like it, some people don't like it. At first I thought, okay, maybe this is good. And then I was like, no, I want Amad Diallo next season. I, I don't want us to be getting rid of decent players to, to fund moves. You know, we got 15 million for James Garner and that was like our biggest sale to, to fund some of the moves. You know, I, you know, it's, it's like, because we can't sell Bayou, we can't sell Tellers, we can't sell Williams, we can't sell Maguire because of their wage, no one wants them. Dyer will leave on a free, we won't get any money for him. The players that we will have to sacrifice are the Amadiellas and the Alangas of the world. And some people will be happy for Alanga to go, but Alanga definitely needs to go out on loan. But this, like, Alanga was born in for Switzerland, and there's some money to be made there. Palestra and Alanga, give them a good loan spell, and let, even if they're not good enough for United, I think they could be players that you could get 30 million for. But United don't have brains. Loan out the players that need to be loaned out, Palestra and Alanga, keep Amad, he's proved himself, or give him a Premier League loan. You know, stop all of this, honestly. Anyway, I can't really be bothered to go on any longer, but I just want to be honest, 
Qatar announced Qatar gets takeover done wrapped up so we can get on the transfer get on with the transfer winner because too many of our targets are being swooped up. We're not getting Kim Min Jay. I will go for Duran Tim because he can offer right back and centre back cover. I want us to be going and signing a Nana or Diogo Costa. I don't want us to be going in for Pickford. I really like Gonzalo Ramos. I'd go for a midfielder like Maxon Kakare, hidden midfield gem. If you can't get someone like Lavia, don't waste the budget on Mason Mount. But if we can get Lavia or Mason Mount, that's brilliant. If you can get both of them, that's fantastic. But I don't think we're going to get Lavia. And I think I'm just frustrated because I'm seeing all our rivals going out, doing good business, signing players. I'd like to see United and United just don't seem to be doing anything. And hopefully by the next time I make a video, I can say, oh, we've put in a big bid in for Mount and Chelsea set to upset this and maybe we'll sign someone within the next week. That would be really nice. But uh, fed up, people. Anyway, smash the like, smash the subscribe. Back tomorrow. Bye.